Hey, Ed Bose is here. And uh, this is the time of month where I actually do a, uh, a review of a book that I just finished. And uh, I like to do that every now and then because there's a lot of good books out there. A lot of very inspirational books that, uh, that, that you know, that they really turned me on. And uh, the thing I like about, well, I read a lot of inspirational books, business inspiration and stuff. Uh, and the reason I do that is because I want to be inspired. And uh, I know that when I get inspired, it gives me an opportunity to take that inspiration and, and share it with somebody else. And maybe then I can expire, inspire somebody else as well. So, But um, what I just read, um, one of the many Robert Kiyosaki books, uh, this one is also with his sister, Emmy Kiyosaki, and it's called Rich Brother, Rich Sister. And I just uh, just finished this book. When I first saw it, I'll be I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I thought, okay, this will be different. I didn't really I didn't know how inspirational this one would really be. I, I just I wasn't really sure what to expect. But but here's here's what's different about this book. Um, it starts out with uh, it starts out. With, at the beginning, uh, with pretty much Robert Robert's uh, life in the beginning when he was a child, uh, and then the second it's not it's actually the same chapter. The second then it goes to Emmy, and it and it and it's her explanation of her childhood. So every chapter is actually starts out with Robert, and then it goes Emmy, Robert, Emmy, and then uh, you go through. You know a lot of their life, uh, the the things that influenced them, uh, the the things that the bad things that, that happened to them, their parents, uh, their friends, uh, business failures, uh, health failures, uh, all kinds of interesting stuff about it. But but what I found that was really interesting about the book, it was that uh, there was some very very super inspirational terminology in there some very uh, good tips on how how these guys got back on the path stayed positive and, and kept going for their goals in life and I think that's what really made this book for me was it, it wasn't boring I thought maybe this was going to be a boring book uh, it, it, it was actually very exciting. Uh, I know, you know, the one chapter, uh, it, it was talking, Robert was talking about uh, Dr. Buck, Minister Fuller, which, very interesting fellow. As a matter of fact, after reading this, I ordered Critical Path. I haven't received it yet, but I want to read Critical Path, though. I'd like to see what Robert Kiyosaki read and why he was motivated by this book. Um, and by this man, because uh, I'll be quite honest, I watched some of uh, uh, Mr. Fuller's uh, uh, videos, and the dude was very hard to follow. You could tell he was brilliant. He's probably genius level, uh, but it was very hard to understand what he was saying because it almost seemed like he was mumbling a lot. But uh, but it was a lot of very technical mumble about a lot of very technical spiritual business ideals that he had developed and, and utilized to make himself who he was. And, uh, you know, Robert Kiyosaki was very, very, very influenced by this man. And so I find it very interesting. It, it, it led me to another uh, a book that I'm going to dive into here shortly, and I'll probably end up uh, reviewing it as well. And uh, But anyway, you know, back to this book, it, it just, it was... Very, it was very interesting, very inspirational, and uh, I don't want to tell you too much. I don't want to go through the story and uh, ruin it for you, but it wasn't so much like, you know, if you've read uh, any of Kiyosaki's other books, it doesn't really give you, like, business strategies, per se. Uh, it gives you more, like, uh, stories about their lives. And, and what they did to change their situations at the time, or what they were thinking and how they felt about their situation, and uh, what brought them out of a negative situation into a positive situation. And uh, so I found it, I found it very interesting. The very end of the book, you know, goes 
It was very different. Uh, kind of, you know, the, it was uh, the end of greed is, is 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 what Roberts was. And what I found interesting was the the thing that that he realized in his life that the most important thing that brought him up to uh, top top levels of success was uh, when he realized that in order to be successful in business you had to uh, uh, have a good basically offer something good to people something uh, what's the word I'm looking for um, offer value to people and he realized and if you don't know about Robert Kiyosaki he had a uh, it was one of it was a it was a, a surfer uh, a wallet that he used to sell and you know he, he refers to it as something that really had no value I mean it was nice it was handy but it really didn't have any value and he he fell on his face with that business along with his partners who some of them were doing some underhanded things and uh, he realized that that was not the thing to do that was not the right way to go so now you know he's he's got rich dad poor dad and his his whole uh, message now is it, it is a very positive message he wants to help people succeed he wants to help people find a way to financial freedom and I think that's really an awesome message I thought that was a very awesome message so uh, anyway instead of me going through this whole book you need to go buy this book and uh, check it out because uh, I'll tell you for my business it's very inspirational uh, if you want to look and see more about my business right below this video is a link you can check it out be more than happy to hear from you and talk to you whatever and I am very glad that you had a chance to watch this video and I enjoyed making it for you so you have a great day and I will see you next video. Bye now.